So you've had a heavy rainstorm and you've woken up to a green swimming pool. What do you do? How do you fix it? Well, sit tight because that's what this video is all about. Hi there, I'm Louis from Pool Advisor and this video is all about dealing with a green pool after rain. If this video does help you at all, please like it and subscribe to my channel, which is all about swimming pool maintenance. So why does your pool turn green after rain? If you have a heavy rainstorm and you get a, a substantial flow of water into your pool, the rain will actually dilute out the water in your pool. And this actually has a few negative effects on your, on your water chemistry. First of all, the, the dilution of the water actually lowers the free chlorine concentration. So you have the same amount of chlorine in your pool, but it's now spread out amongst more water, which uh, dilutes it and lowers the concentration. The rainwater can also introduce organic material um, like pollen, um, leaves and dirt, um, which will react with your remaining chlorine in the water because this is organic material. It can be oxidized by chlorine. Uh, chlorine doesn't target bacteria or algae specifically. It will just oxidize anything it comes in contact with, which includes organic material. So that you've now diluted out the, the chlorine in your water and then the remaining um, um, diluted concentration is reacting with different things like pollen, leaves and dirt there. So you, you can see your chlorine levels drop quite quickly in your water. And if you do a, a chlorine test, you, you'll be able to confirm whether this is the case or not. If you see chlorine that's um, sitting around zero, then you know that this is probably the reason why your pool has turned green. Because um, now that there's no chlorine in the water, algae are free to start growing and they will, they will grow very quickly and multiply. And yeah, you can really see a green pool overnight just from, um, yeah, just one night is enough for algae to start growing rapidly in your pool and, and taking hold there. If you test your water, it's green after a rainstorm, you test your water for chlorine and you see that um, the chlorine level seems to be fine, but you're still getting this problem. Um, another possible cause is that your cyanuric acid is too high. So if your cyanuric acid gets above 50 ppm, you can actually start having, um, uh, it can actually start binding with too much of the free chlorine in your water and actually making it ineffective. It's like over stabilizing your water if you like. And that can be a problem as well. So um, test your water for cyanuric acid as well and make sure that it's not above 50 ppm because that could be another cause. Although that's, that's possibly less likely than, than the first one, which is just that your free chlorine is simply too low. So how do you get your pool back to normal? Well, the first step is you need to kill uh, the algae that are growing there. That's where the greenness is, it's algae. And you can't get rid of it until they're dead. So the first step is to shock your pool, um, to lift that chlorine concentration up really high um, in, in quite a short time frame. If you can lift it up quickly and try to kill that algae uh, as quickly as possible. Balance your water chemistry is step two. Um, so now that you um, have, have killed off the algae, you will want to make sure that um, you rebalance your pH and alkalinity because these have probably been diluted out after the rain. So you'll need to adjust them potentially. Um, and it's just test that and, and add any um, anything you need to add there to make sure that um, your pH and alkalinity get back to where they should be. That will get your pool back to normal. Um, in terms of how do you stop it from happening again, here's what you can do. Before the next rainstorm happens, if you, if you see you know, the, uh, a warning about a big rainstorm coming up, you can look at topping up your chlorine levels before the rainstorm. That'll give you a bit of extra chlorine in reserve um, so that when you, the next rainstorm hits, um, even if your, your water does get diluted out, you will have that extra buffer there, that extra reserve of chlorine. But even if it does get diluted out, it's still at a suitable concentration. And this reserve will also help you fight um, uh, the, the loss that you'll see from the organic material entering your pool. So even if you do get the pollen, the leaves and the dirt coming into your pool, this extra reserve will be there and it will make sure that you maintain um, some free chlorine even after that rain. And that will, that will keep the algae at bay and stop them from having such a nice environment to grow in. You can also look at um, testing for phosphates in your pool as uh, that can be something that can contribute to algae growth. If um, you find that you're getting algae very easily in your pool um, and as soon as the chlorine levels drop, algae are just multiplying out of control, it may be that you have very high phosphate levels in your pool. So you can look at doing a phosphate test and if necessary, you can um, add some phosphate remover, which will get rid of that. And you can check out my video all about high phosphates in swimming pools for more information there. Another possible option is to use a pool cover. If you're finding that all that water entering your pool is um, actually, it, it just keeps causing these problems with algae growth and you don't want so much water entering your pool, you can look at using a pool cover that will stop the water from entering, entering the pool itself. Um, and you can like look at siphoning that water off after each rainstorm and stop it from going into the pool itself. 
and diluting out your water and, and messing with your water chemistry. That's pretty much all there is to it. Have you had any experiences with um, successfully getting rid of algae after a rainstorm? If you have, please leave a comment below. Um, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.